Hello, kids of the kingdom. Pastor Tosh here at Christ the Cornerstone Church Play Room with Leo, Mr. Potato Head, and the one and only Jesus having pee, having pizza and tea with a, a scripture reading, of course. Um, so thanks for joining us. Tonight's word of the day is perseverance. Perseverance. It's a long word, which I think is kind of interesting because perseverance usually means to endure something for a long period of time. So maybe that's why it's so long. Um, and we were sitting here talking about perseverance and kind of what it means. And we all thought of an example of perseverance. And sing along if you know it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. <gasps> but out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. That's right. We're going to learn a lesson from the itsy bitsy spider today about perseverance. I can only imagine being a small little spider going up a spout and how much effort that takes to get up that spout and to only have the rain come down and push me off that spout if I was a spider. That's a long ways down. I probably wouldn't go back up the spout again. But the itsy bitsy spider did. The sun came out, that itsy bitsy spider saw a brighter day, had hope, and went back up that spout. So I think we could take a lesson from the itsy bitsy spider today that when we feel washed out in our lives, that we just need to look for the sun, S-O-N, Jesus, that will bring the brightness and the hope back in your life so that you can continue going up that spout. So, bet you didn't think you were going to get a lesson with the Itsy Bitsy Spider tonight, but you have. And there's a scripture that goes with this. Isaiah 40, 29 through 31 says this. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles and will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. So... My hope tonight is that you put your hope in the Lord. And when you grow weary or feel weak, that you turn to God to be your strength and to get you through. And to have hope that there's a better tomorrow, that there's a better moment just around the corner. And that the sun is going to come out and you'll be able to go back up whatever your spout is today. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for gathering us here tonight. We ask that you help us with this lesson, God, of perseverance and putting our hope in you to be perseverers, God, and that we can endure our lives because you are in them, God, and you provide us strength when we are weak. You help us when we are weary, God. And I just pray for us all, God, that we can come to you, God, sooner than later uh, so that we can get through this life, God. And it's you didn't promise it would be easy, God, but you promised us that you would be there for us, God, and that you would guide us and direct us. And, God, we just pray that we can turn our hearts more and more to you, God. Lord, we pray for this world, Lord. We pray for healing for those that are ill and suffering from in, uh, cancer or a disease, God. We pray that you give them hope wherever they are right now, God, that, that pain within our bodies can just take so much from us mentally and physically, Lord, and I pray for hope and light to come into their lives, God. We pray for guidance and direction for decisions that we're making in our everyday lives, Lord, and for leadership to make decisions, Lord, on behalf of communities, God, and like we can come together as one accord under you, God, if we're all turning for your guidance and direction, God. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. Be perseverant as the itsy bitsy spider. You can get up that spout. Guarantee it. Just call on the name of the Lord. All right, kids of the kingdom, thanks for joining. 
Uh, we'll be back here in about 20-ish minutes for Wednesday worship. Hope you join us for that. And if you can't make it for that, uh, of course, we'll be here back at 7 p.m. tomorrow night for prayer. Um, thank you very much for joining. Love you guys. God bless. Have a good one.